Uh, there, if you go on the ground now, there is a lot of dew out there at the moment. Like, um, so that normally means the pitch will play easier. But in saying that, 188 should have been um, a more competitive total than what it ended up being. Um, we had a guy play out of his skin to get us to that score. So, yeah, 188 should have been more competitive than that. Yeah, could have. Yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh, it, it's tough, but um, like he's a professional cricketer. He knows his job is to score runs, and that's what he's doing. And um, to be honest, if you watch him keeping and everything, and the way he's trying to get the guys going, and and he's talking to bowlers all the time, he's doing more than enough to try help us win games. Uh, we're just lacking, to be honest. We're lacking a little bit of, of penetration with the ball, and um, we got one day to think about it and try find it from somewhere. But um, I'd, I'd say there's going to be a couple of changes next game. Yeah. Ultra. The way we Rishabh batted, uh, it was a special knock. So, two questions. One, did you uh, did it make you a little bit concerned because they do have good batsmen? So, if if your batsmen can do that, I know it was a very special knock, but they do have players who can replicate that. So, did it make you a bit concerned given that your bowling has not exactly been uh, the way SRH bowling has been through the competition? And secondly. What did you tell your bowlers? Because 188, you said, should be more competitive. So what did you tell your bowlers when people were going in? Uh, told, told the bowlers that not, not to get too predictable, not to get stuck doing one plan. I think, I think the, sun, the Sunrisers, who are statistically the best bowling team in the competition, they got caught a little bit at the end just doing the one thing all the time, and Rishav got them. Um, to answer the first part of your question, yeah, it did make me a little uncomfortable because I see a guy get 128 off 63 balls and the rest of our batters got, what, 57 off, off or 59 off 57 balls or something. Um, yeah, that does concern you a little bit because you're thinking what well, outside of the first game against Kings here, teams are regularly scoring at 10, 11 and over out here on this pitch. So, um, yeah, it concerned me a little bit. Told the bowls not to get too predictable. Um, they tried, didn't work. So um, yeah, I, I, I am really concerned that we lack some penetration. We're not we're not taking wickets. Uh, Coach, there's been another disappointing campaign for Delhi. How, how would you analyse the team's performance? Up and down, like we 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 tend to get ourselves into games. Like I think we we if you want to me to quickly debrief the season, we threw the game away against the Kings out here, chasing 140. We should have got that. Um, dropped two catches last game, which would have probably enabled us to win. And all of a sudden, we're sitting here at five, five and five going into this game, and it's and it's a little bit different. Um, there's been certain stages our bowlers have let us down. There's been certain stages our batters have let us down. We're 11 games in, and we still haven't really. We played really well against Col against the Knight Riders here, but we still haven't put together a, a complete performance, and that's that's getting a little bit frustrating because um, when you see how hard the guys are going at training and how um how focused they are in that environment, it's it's it's. It's a little bit sad as a coach because they're not getting the rewards on the field for the work they're doing off it. Kuro, speak into the mic. Team like SRH has uh, made a habit of defending from totals primarily because of the bowling. Do you think that your side has got this at least uh, they've earned not picking the right bowling of bowlers? I mean, do you think that the bowlers are now the key to the matches? Oh, yeah, and, and, and I think they, they play on a ground which is a little bit bigger. Like, I know we've got, we got 160 in Hyderabad last week and uh, and there were a lot of balls that out here it's four like balls getting smashed in the gap on the boundary and guys are it's a big enough ground and a slow enough outfield guys can actually get around and stop it they're being restricted to two so we know they, they have two very good spinners as well two extremely good spinners um, Rashid had a bad night and a bad night for him means four overs for 30 that's a that's a pretty classy bowler and Shakib does it year in year out for Bangladesh and in the IPL he's um they yeah, they are a very good team. Um, they're very well structured. They they stick to their game plan. And um, Booby stood up in the last in the last game at a big big moment. And you see how hard it is to do that all the time because he got whacked at the end tonight. But last game he managed when he had to to win a game. He did it. Sorry, my question was about your bowling resources. Our bowling resources have been depleted from the start. We've um we didn't have we didn't have Rabada here. He was in the auction. Obviously, going to be one of our main guys. Um, Morris. Is now home with a back injury. He was meant to be our other 145 bowler. Trent is doing really well. Like he, um, 
Think about the role that he fills for New Zealand, swinging the new ball at the top. He's now playing in a place where that doesn't really happen and he's maximising his skill set to try to get desired results. He didn't have a great night tonight, but he's done well through the tournament. Um, our spinners are, are a bit of an issue. Mishy's doing well now. He's bowling well now. Um, Nadeem's been in and out of the team, and that can be hard to do. We've got Sandeep sitting on the sideline. Um, yeah, we might. I wouldn't be surprised if he features sometime in the next few games. Last two questions. Who wants to go first? Yeah, Udra. You said they have a pretty settled team and everything, they play to a plan. Do you think Delhi also uh, suffered uh, from the fact that uh, because you didn't get too many wins early on, you attempted too many changes in the team, you kept uh, trying out new players in the hope that someone might uh, go get clicking and everything and that didn't really allow the team to settle down as a unit when they go out on the field? Yeah, um, I think Chris flying home sort of forced us into a change because it's not that not that easy when a player like him flies home to say, oh, we'll just bring someone in for him. You have to make two or three changes to your team to try cover for him. Um, so we went down that path, yeah. But when you get to this stage in these kind of tournaments, there's like good pressure and bad pressure. Good pressure is what the Sunrisers feel. They're winning games of cricket. They get into competitive moments. They know that it's good pressure, but they're on top of the table. They can see how they go. Bad pressure is when you're trying to do everything perfectly because you know you can't slip up. And that's the position we're in at the moment, and I don't think our guys have coped that well with it. How much has the absence of Shami made to the team? You've spoken about Chris, you've spoken about Ravada, but how much is the absence of Shami made to the team? Because he was supposed to be one of your key bowlers. Yeah. And uh, what about uh, Junior Dala? I mean, now that uh, the campaign is practically over, yeah. uh, would he be getting a chance? Um, Players like Sandeep Lamichane and all, at least in terms of getting exposure and experience out there? As I said, we've got we've got one day to sit down and think about. I don't think there's any player in our squad that won't be talked about in the next 24 hours I'm playing in a couple of days' time. Like we need, like need, It's a big picture thing now. We're out of this year. What does it look like going forward? What does our roster look like for next year? Those things start to be spoken about now, and these next three games are a good opportunity to, to possibly see some of these guys. Especially Junior, because he's, he's just a little bit different. And about Shami, the absence of Shami? Oh, it's, it's been a shame. Like, um, like, as I said, he's going through some personal stuff, and, and I was happy he got named in the test squad um, to play Afghanistan. Um, yeah, it, it would have been nice to have him firing on all cylinders and, and his sole focus being the IPL, but um, that's not always the way, and we have to live with that. <laughs>